Hello and welcome back. For this problem, we want to find the derivative of a function that has an exponential form, but it doesn't satisfy any of the rules that we have for calculus up to this point. So the idea, once again, is to use logarithmic differentiation. And in doing so, we're going to set y equal to the function that we're studying, which is the natural log of x raised to the sine of x power. So we're now gonna take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of y equaling the natural log of the natural log of x raised to the sine of x power. And just like before, we can now use our power rule for logs and take that exponent and bring it down as a coefficient on our logarithm. So that's gonna give us the natural log of y is equal to the sine of x times the natural log of the natural log of x. So now we need to take the derivative of both sides of this. And so we're gonna take d dx and get one over y times y prime is now equal to the derivative of this product. Well, the derivative of the first is just the cosine of x and it's times the second natural log of the natural log of x plus first times the derivative of the second. And the derivative formula for natural log is one over whatever's inside. So that's one over the natural log of x multiplied by the derivative of what's inside, which is the derivative of natural log of x, which is one over x. So that is our derivative. We've got one over y times y prime is equal to the cosine of x times the natural log of the natural log of x plus the fraction sine of x over x times the natural log of x. We can then get common denominators, even though you don't really gain a lot from that, but you could. We would have one over y times y prime is equal to x ln x times cosine of x times the natural log of the natural log of x plus the sine of x over the quantity x times the natural log of x. And we're almost finished because now we can multiply both sides by a y. And we can then replace the y with what it represented. So we're gonna have this large coefficient function, x ln x, cosine of x, natural log of the natural log of x, plus the sine of x over x times the natural log of x, times our original y, which was way back here, the natural log of x raised to the sine of x. So that's the natural log of x raised to the sine of x as an exponent. And that right there is the derivative of our function. A very, very complicated derivative for such a simply stated expression or function, if you will.